So it is now week 12, and this is kind of massive, right? We have a three-game win streak coming out of the bye. We are now 5-5. Five and five. Last season, I just double-checked. Last season, we won five games. So we're already at the total max game wins that we were last year, this year, at week 12. So, with that being said, we can only get better, hopefully. However, though, we got Stefan Diggs and the Green Bay Packers ahead of us. So, as always, let's get the music going. All right. <laughs> Looking to negotiate. I don't think I can negotiate yet still with... Because uh, I want to sign Wallace. Um, but we will do this. We're, you know what? We're going to bring... We're going to offer Treak. We're going to go player-friendly. And let's see what he does. I'm happy to resign. Booyah. There we go. We just got Treak back. And you know what? I'm going to sign... I'm going to resign Billings, too. I feel... I feel confident in Billings right now. Exactly the offer. Boom. Let's go. Two resignings, baby. Okay. So now, uh, let's get into weekly. We did get back um, our boy Evan Stevens. Oh, James Winston. Jeremy Chin. Okay. Um, yeah, Evan Stevens is back. So we got a, we got our big boy back. Um, we got our first round pick back. Which is massive. That's a huge upgrade to our D-line. Um, so with that being said, hopefully that helps out a lot. Wow, we got a lot of players over here. Hey, there's Stevens. Let's go, baby. All right, Bubba. I do Bubba in the middle of the field. His morale, his morale is down. I don't know why. We just, we, we're just we on a three-game win streak. No one's morale should be down right now. Leonard, zone. You yeah. Casey Carmichael. Pass protection goes up to a uh, 60. I think he's the first one on my line to have uh, to get, um, into a 60 now. All right, Lawrence Hunt. This is uh, this is one of the draft picks, I think, right? Yeah, he's one of the draft picks. All right, I'm going to go run stop just to get it up to the end of the 60s. Play rec and his zone went up anyway, so. And then Dylan Moses. Ah, boy. Ah, boy, Dylan Moses from last season. All right, Evan Stevens. Um, I'm going to continue to just go... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go run stopper. <coughs> Let's go run stopper there. <coughs> All right. So we, now we can manage staff. We got some points. We got 15 points that we can use. So with that being said, let's take a look. Um, I, I, after last week's debacle, I want to go defense. Um, stamina for them. Boost the tackle. I need to get to boost tackle. So, uh, catching for corners, nope. Pursuit for corners, nope. We need to, yep, we're going to go run uphill because we need to get we need to get to in the clutches. Uh, tackling for corners, stamina for linebackers, catching for there, pursuit for there, play recognition for there. Yeah, no, we need to get, we need to get to this. We need to get to tackling for the safeties. Um... But all right, so nice, easy, not a whole lot of stuff right there to do. Now let's go and take a look at said Green Bay Packers, who have the boom. Stephon Diggs, Mar oh god, Stephon Diggs and Mark Andrews. This is gonna be fun. J Laramie Tunsil, Chandler Jones, Miles Jack, DJ Reader, Christian Kirk, who is a superstar on this game. For some reason, Jeremy Chin, Legarius Sneed, Kenneth Walker, great, William Jackson, Darno Savage, Hicks, Garrett Wilson, Etienne, Zach Cunningham, Desmond King. This is a very young team. James Winston, Winovich. This is going to be fun. This will be fun. Uh, okay, so here, edit settings, Do -do 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 -do. pistol, ready. Let's get into this. Let's get this thing going, man. We're in Green Bay. We're on the road. On the road. <clears throat> Was he just doing a little shimmy there? Was he doing a little shimmy? <laughs> Oh, there he is. He's back. Number 98. Oh, okay. They're rocking their uh, their uh, color rush. Alternative old schools. All right. I'm not sure which one it is, so I just threw all of them together.
Only 15 sacks and four picks. Their defense does not seem to be that good then. To the players that they have, at least. And there's our rush attack. I love how there's scramble yards. I'm assuming scramble yards they're taking into account the QB running on uh, zone read stuff. On our, on our read option stuff. <clears throat> All right. I'm just excited that our boy's back. We got Stevens back. That's going to be... That could be huge for us. All right. Vedvik, let's get this let's get this thing on the road. They already have momentum. There we go. It's too many snakes in the grass. Here, here, here. Cover three straight off the bat. There he is, right there, Stevens. Let's see if he can make a fucking impact immediately. We got another cube, and we got another running back. This it looks like is going to be just breaking everything. So, go under. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I genuinely tried to get in front of him, and the computer didn't let me do it. I just want to throw that out there real quick. I switched, went in front, and it did not let me go in front. That is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane that it did that. I ran, I switched to him, I got as soon as I got to Um Uh Stefan Diggs there, it literally stopped me and slowed me from moving. That's insane. <clears throat> Bruce Sternum. Okay. He's he's just we <sighs> Taylor plays well when he does get to play. The problem is though, is that out of bounds. No shot they hit this, right? Oh, they got Kenny Pickett as a backup. Okay. I'm just wondering, how come I don't have any momentum at all? I just stopped them. I just made them fucking kick a field goal, and they missed that field goal. There should be at least a little bit of momentum, right? At least a little bit of momentum on my side after that, I feel. Like I said, I think the momentum meter thing is, is genuinely just a bad feature in this game. <clears throat> it could be good, but from what I've seen of it so far, I don't think it's a good. Oh, PJ, let's go, baby. Let's go, PJ! First play of the game. Uh. First play of the game, PJ. Or second play. First read option of the day. How about that? First carry of the day. There. First carry of the day. All right. Stefan Diggs. He has nine touchdowns, 700 yards, 58 receptions. Here, here. That a boy Solomon, baby! 
the rookie. Second and 20. Nope. Right, we're going to go here. We're going to go cover three lock here. And I'm going to bring Smith again. Let's go! Two sacks for Smith. Two for Smith. Each and every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's go. You know what? I've seen it twice in this play calling so far, I think. Well, one of them was a read off it. We're just going to go dive. We're going to go four wide. We'll go dive. All right, find the hole. I think I already see the hole, but it will depend. Boom, here, boom, right there. I went too far out instead of just going straight upfield. Instead of just going straight upfield, I went too far out. Yet again, it's this stupid feature where if you even slightly touch that end, that uh, fucking end guy as you're going upfield. Ah, clutch, man. I'm gonna try this. Oh, if I had to block that, if he blocks that guy, which he should have, I don't know why he didn't, it was right there, but I easily get that. Boom, the block right there, I easily go around the edge there. Motherfucker. <sighs> Let's see if Smith can get three sacks in one game. Got a pressure. I'll take a pressure all day. Uh, I'm going to go under. Probably a bad decision here, but... Oh, my God. There we go, Barno. I was going to say, fucking... I'm chasing him forever. It's making me take odd angles for some fucking reason. Okie three, Eagle. Thank you, Bolden. <clears throat> One million percent pass interference. However, thank you, Bolden. All right, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, let's go. Zone split. Zone split. I hate when that happens, and it happens a decent amount in the game, where it's like, it's you're right there, you've almost got it. However, one of the linemen, get, one of the linemen let up that block just a second too early, and up. Oh. oh, this could be good. It's if it, that's depends on which which. Type of throw they let me hit here. All right, they did. They let me hit it. They let me hit the throw exactly how I wanted to hit it. Good. They let me hit that exactly how I wanted to. Yet again, this, this play, all, all this play determines on is if Scarborough touches that end or not. See, he touched the end. The end immediately switches his, his assignment. It is the dumbest thing. 
Like, I understand that, like, in real life, he's probably making that play. However, this isn't real life. This is a fucking video game, right? The video game is worse than real life. First down. Young. Ugh. So dumb. Like I said, the people, the people that, like, this, this is one of the reasons why I'm worried about this game for, um, for NCAA, when NCAA comes out. is because in, in college football, there's a lot of read option stuff, and a lot of zone read, and a lot of uh, triple option, right? If they can't get it done on this game, where they put all of their money into, right? Mind you, it's still not that good of a game. But still, if, they, if this is what it's like in this game, if this is how it is in NCAA, you're not going to be able to play as most of those fucking teams. There we go. Got another first. Right, you're just, you're genuinely not going to be able to play as those teams. Because you're not going to be able to read anyone. You're not going to be able to do anything. Because if anyone messes up a block... He fully, he fully committed down, and then was able to buckle back and still miss the play. That's impressive. I want to go no huddle here, and I want to go here. That's unfortunate. Somebody save me from my... You know what, here, let's see if I can hit it. Let's see if we can hit it real quick. Right, a little bit close, right, at the 10-yard line, but let's see if we can hit this. All right. So now... <coughs> I want to go four wide. I'm going to go read option. Probably not going to work great. We're going to switch it to dive because this should be easy. Right? Yeah, yeah, it should be. Oh my god. There's no way we're not getting that, right? Thank you. I was going to say, there's no way we don't get this twice in a row, bro. There's just there's zero percent chance, and I shouldn't it shouldn't have taken that many plays there just to get in, right? But like that's that's the problem with this game, especially with the O line aspect of it, is that the O line is either good or they're just god awful. There is zero in between. It's one or the other, um, and that's the thing that kind of is unfortunate because that should be the, the main focal point of next Madden. Madden 24 should be just based off of just nothing but O and D line play. Improve the O and D line aspects of this game and this game is fantastic in my opinion. That's the that's where 90% of the problems come from is the O and D line aspect of this game. That boy Nas. Doing a little fucking trickery there. Hey, look, I see what that guy's doing. That's kind of cool. Ah! So that's what I meant when Rob when Rob was like, "Oh yeah, I could see what your uh, your main guy's route was when I was playing him a little bit ago." Go three cloud. Okay, game. Real, like, I, like this is what I'm talking about. He's still not going down. 
Oh, uh, of course. Of fucking course. <clears throat> That's me. I, 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 I brought everyone. That's me. That's me. Alright, fine. Whatever. It's a bullshit fucking drive. No worries. Andrew Billings is now hurt. Like, can any of my guys just stay healthy for fucking one play, please? But yeah, no, I do genuinely believe, though, if they were to focus, if they were to focus a full, a full Madden on just the blocking and the, and the D-line, the O and D-line aspects of this game, this game becomes ten times better immediately. I'm not even, like, I'm torn labrum, Jesus fuck. Um, I'm not even, like, talking about looking at any other features at this point. I'm literally just talking about that, right? That end bells out. I'm just fucking taking it. We're just going forward. Okay, brick. I find it funny that I've started running Play Action Crosser more. Play Action Crossers more. However, the computer re re almost refused to bring it up as a play for me to run every now and then. There it is. First! Alright, so I spin move, it shows the animation for me breaking, uh, for me juking the guy, but the guy doesn't get fully juked, so we just both fall down to the ground. Uh, seems about right. No, I'm just gonna put Zuber straight to fucking... Of course. No one on my no one on my line fucking blocked. They want me to go no, we're gonna fucking just kick through goal there. We get a ball a half. Bro. We can make it a ten point game, we get a ball a half. They got twenty seven seconds. That passing game has not been great. Right? They've had one lucky fucking drive. That's it. We can go up 10, we can potentially get a fumble, we can potentially get a pick. Yeah, no, I'm good. If my line just would have blocked it, we would have been fucking set, but, I mean... Literally three people on their team just went, nope, whoop, I'm in the backfield now. I was gonna say I'm offsides. Watch. I was gonna say I'm offsides. Even though I have no idea how I was offsides. 
I was a little bit on the other side of the blue line, so I mean, it's like I... Was I offsides or was I not offsides? What? Why was my linebacker standing there watching the ball just sit on the ground? Not moving. You see what I mean? Like, there's so many little things like that that are just absolutely stupid features. Those are the fact that I had four people jump on the ball just then and none of them get it. Oh, all right, yep. I press the button to go right, my guy just spins in a circle. Yet again, same fucking thing. Oh, they're in Hail Mary. There we go. Solid game right now. Uh, I want to continue to... No, let's just go run inside. I always do run inside. And then throw where go throw me or defend medium. Can you play me? There's no fucking way that the game starts like that, right? No, there's no way the game starts like that. This is how the second half's gonna start, huh? Alright, cool. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Like, I can't... I, I literally cannot catch a break with these games. I can't just have a game where I just play and win, right? Like, that that's not a thing anymore. This just went from a 10-point game to a 3-point game. Within five seconds, because Miles Red suddenly fumbled for the first time, I think, in his career on a kickoff. And he and nothing even happened. It wasn't even like I did a move or I didn't press a button or... No, he was just running and then he just fumbled. Ugh. Don't, 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 don't. Just fucking leave him alone. Like, I'm so over this right now. Holy shit. It's been less than 10 seconds into the second into the second half of this game. And already I want to turn the fucking game off. Like, if he's the read key, don't block him. Don't touch him. Don't even fucking look at him. It's a pretty simple fucking concept. Like, genuinely, it's a pretty simple fucking concept. Uh As a hold, probably, I'm assuming. Yep. Can't wait there, I can't stop. Cross drag. Oh my god, what? Really? Like, we're just going to, like, okay. We are now just deciding, the, the game is now just deciding, yep. Look, boom, right there, that's what I'm throwing it. My guy doesn't even fucking stop running. He just keeps running. He just keeps going. He's like, cool. Oh my god, we have, we have, we have just, we're just shooting ourselves in the fucking foot at this point. Self-inflicted wounds. That's all this is, this whole entire game right now. Watch, somehow they're gonna get this, somehow they're gonna get this, I'm gonna be fucking mad, and we're gonna go off of that. Here we go, here, here, cover three sky, we're going there. Smith's coming off the edge. Smith's getting another sack. That 
Let's go. That's three for him today. How is he? Sh how did that guy shoot inside that? Oh, he's running blitz. Okay, that's fair. <clears throat> I was about to say, how did he shoot that far inside that fast? Oh my, yep, we're just not blocking anyone anymore. Like, literally, we didn't block any one of the D linemen on the right side of the line of scrimmage. They're just running blitzes now. They're fucking confusing the shit out of me by running all these fucking blitzes, so. First down. Fourth and inches, suck my dick. It's the first fucking down. We're gonna go fake ta fake punt off tackle, and we're not gonna make this watch. We don't run stretch a whole lot, but here we go. That's why we don't run stretch a whole lot, because my ta my tight end literally starts to block, stops blocking, turns fully around and just stares while he gets beaten. Meanwhile, if they run that, it's a fucking touchdown. You know what I mean? Like, it's I'm so over the, the game being that drastically different every single time. Thank you, Zuber. Oh, here, I'll even make this easier for everyone. Here, motion out. There. There's the read key. Boom. Nice and fucking easy now, right? I'm sorry. Excuse me? Please explain that to me. You gotta love when the game starts changing up the code midway through games. So you see what you're gonna do now. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna have him go inside, but not tackle the read key for the first time. Instead, what they're gonna do is they're just gonna go inside, stand there, wait a second, so then you pull it, and then you just to make the tackle. And of course, I have to fucking bowie that thing. I can't just fucking doom doom, right? Why, why would a why would a professional NFL player be able to just go boom boom right? Oh fuck it! I'd... That a boy at Wallace. First. Thank you, fuck Wallace. There's, there's no, there's, why are my guys turning their back to the ball on the ground? <sighs> oh my god. So, he throws the ball, I hit him, roughing the passer. They throw it in the flats. Every single play there that I switch to, to go hit the guy in the flats, just whiffs and misses. Doesn't come anywhere fucking close. I'm just, I'm fucking, this, this game. Holy fucking tilting this game's been so far. Every single player I try to hit stick is just an instant fucking big, big arm. Nope, fuck you. They could have Tavon Austin out there versus Cam Chancellor or if I, you know what, Ed Reed. 
No, fuck it. Not even Ed Reed. Let's go Ray Lewis. They can have Tavon Austin just fucking <clears throat> Ray Lewis in this game right now. Thank you. Bardo's like the only person that can hit stick anyone right now, it seems like. Why am I not surprised? We're gonna go cover three because they're just throwing it into the fucking flats every fucking time right now. Yeah, he didn't make that. They missed one earlier. All they gotta do is hit this one. There we go. It's a tie ball game now. Because for some reason, we're just, we're just, we're not even allowed to have the ball on carries anymore. We just have to fumble it. Right? I'm holding the button for like, hey, cover the ball. Doesn't matter. Try to press the A button. Doesn't matter. Like, that's what this game has become now. It's like, it doesn't matter if you're pressing the right buttons or not. It's it, the algorithm, the computer is going to be like, is going to tell you whether or not you win or lose. And guess what? We all lose because we're still playing this fucking game. That's the problem. Nah, 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 nah. <clears throat> Yet again, yet again, yet again, like, what is going on? I'm holding the button! <laughs> if you hold right, if you hold right bumper, right, you're supposed to hold onto the ball. You slam and hold that button, doesn't fucking matter. Just pick it. Just fucking intercept that. Turn around and pick. <laughs> Baby. Uh, to think that we were up fucking like 14 to nothing. And then just they just went on uh, just a dumb drive. <gasps> nope. Yet again. Did you see how I got in front of him? Press the button, and then instead, now suddenly I'm behind him. Challenge it. Go right ahead. This uh, he was out of fucking bounds. It's just fucking absurd at this point. Like at this point it's just this is just a joke now. If we if we fumble again, I'm literally just gonna fucking just run dive the rest of the game. If we fumble on any of the next three plays, I'm just running dive for the rest of the game. Because it is absolutely absurd that a team is fumbling this much when all I'm doing is holding the button that stops me from fumbling. Isn't that wild to think about? There's literally a button that says, hey, if you hold this button, this thing doesn't happen. Meanwhile, if you hold said button, it still happens. Every single time. Like, it's not like a, a partial every now and then thing. No, no, this is every single time so far. Here we go. We're going to run this. Every single time Scarborough hits that end. Every single time Scarborough hits this, uh, this end here.
<sighs> like, I'd love to be able to run any of the plays that go outside. However, I already know for a fact that no one on my team is going to block anyone, so I physically am unable to. I mean, the same thing with running inside, to be honest with you, because no one on my team blocks anyone inside, as you just saw right there. Takeaways four this season. Yeah, they have more takeaways in this game than they have probably in the last, like, three weeks. And I would say 90% of them have been bullshit. This should be a first. I'm already calling it right now. It should be a first. It won't be though. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna miss the throw. Shit. All right. We hit the throw. Wallace, baby. The Rook. Now we have to stop them for three minutes. Three minutes, we have to stop them. See, their players are off balance, getting hit, and still just fine. My players are literally fully covering the ball up and get barely touched, and then the ball goes flying. <gasps> There's no way. That better be a fucking hold or something, because that, that's absurd. Decline. It's so now it's third down. Our ball. Game. Thank you, Leonard. All we have to do is get a first. All we have to do is get a first. That's it. Right? There. That should be it. That technically should be it then. I do believe. Whew. And again, like I said, I'm just... I'm, I'm just... I'm just white fingering the fucking button right now for hold the ball because <laughs> so it's just a slam a slam this way I don't know why I got a flag there, but alright, cool. Yep. Oh, okay. So I got a false start because I pressed the button multiple times. Which now gives no which now stops the clock, mind you. Alright. You gotta love the fact that we literally didn't block the guy that was directly head up on us and instead ran past him to go block his safety. 
We let the clock run all the way down. And then we'll go from there. I'm taking the penalty. I'm going to take the penalty, and then we're going to put backspin on this. We're going to put it in the fucking back of the end zone. It's going to bounce back to the one-yard line. We're going to get the ball back. We're going to get a safety. There we go. Down to the 15. They have no timeouts. <clears throat> Cover three cloud because they're going to do the same fucking bullshit again. I just went fucking to my other package and had Solomon blitzing. Watch, they're going to get this. So now I can't run cover three prevent. All right. That makes that makes sense. Smith. Third sack of the day. He ended the game. Let's fucking go. Ugh. Our win streak continues out of the bye. As stressful as it's fucking been, our win streak continues after the bye. <sighs> Man, these games, I, I, I don't know what it is. These games are just getting more stressful, more stressful, more stressful. But, but, we got another win. And that's that in, in, in and of itself is all that really matters. So there we go.